Hey folks, Trailer Tim here. Thought I would do a little review on the Noco Genius 10 battery charger. I bought this because it has a lithium capability and I now have my Renogy 100 amp hour lithium battery and my onboard converter charger is not designed for lithium. It'll charge the batteries, but not too well, not fully. So I bought this and you can put it on normal 12 mode, 12 volt AGM, 12 volt lithium, which I will show you how well that works in a minute. And you can also switch to the 6 volt, 6 volt AGM and a 12 volt power supply, constant power supply. If you're trying to keep something alive while you disconnect a battery and the repair, which is some kind of a pulsing desulfation mode. Haven't tried it too much. Not sure how effective it is. So yeah, let's go on to the testing results. So I've got the NOCO Genius hooked up the negative side on my shunt and the positive side to my circuit breaker, which are all connected through my quick connect to the battery itself. So currently my battery is at a 96% state of charge. You can see there's only a 30 milliamp draw. That's just the parasitic draw of my inverter. This meter will also show the voltage. 13.3, uh, 13.2. So it's pretty much charged. I'm going to plug the Noco 10 charger in now. And if we watch the amps, we will see it creep up. It's a 10 amp charger and it will pretty much go to 10 amps. It takes a few seconds. My Renogy battery meter will show the same thing roughly. There we go. I'm not a fan how this cycles through and you can't lock it on one setting or on one view. So we can watch the voltage on this one for now, 13.3. The voltage won't really change. It's, I know you're charging up to 14.4 or 14.6, but it doesn't actually show that till it reaches that. So I'm gonna come back after once this gets to 10 amps, I will come back near the very end and show you how it drops off the current and keeps the voltage constant for the last few percentages of the charge. So they were getting up towards 10 amps now. I don't have anything else on in here, so it should be reaching 10. Okay, well, we're at 9.6 at 96% charge. So I will see you in a few. Okay, so now the batteries are fully charged. Uh, I've got everything off except minimal draw from my inverter on standby. So 70 milliamps. The energy meter is showing 100% state of charge. 14.4 volts, zero amps of current going in or out. It's a 100 amp hour battery. 
This little zero one's tail may just have one battery connected because it's a smart battery you can link together with another one with the data cable and it will increase the amp hour number and show you two batteries. And yeah, we should have the same voltage here. You have to turn this thing back on. If it gets below about 100 milliamps, it uh, freezes and shuts off the light. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this charger. It seems to do what it's supposed to do. It keeps the current up near 10 amps, right up until it breaks that 14.4 uh, volts, and then it tapers the current down, and then it shuts off. And all that whole process only took about half an hour. I did a time lapse on it. Mind you, I only had to put a couple percent in of battery capacity. So that's the Noco. I wish they made a bigger model. If they had made a 20 amp, it would be nice. This battery will take up to 50 amp charge. If I combine the Noco with my onboard charger in this motorhome, I can get about 13 to 14 amps going into the battery. It speeds things up a little bit. But if you're not in the market to replace your converter charger and you're on a budget with an old RV like I have, then a charger like this is good for that. It's also good for charging your starting battery or anything else you got around the, the house or the yard. So goodbye for now. Cheers.